Hey guys. Ugh. Welcome back to another episode of Getting It All Done. In this episode, I'm going to be sharing with y'all some things I need to get done, some things in the kitchen. I have a lock that I need to remove and replace because I don't have a lock on the door, just a chain lock, and that's not secure, even though it's a glass window. But, you know, most people are not going to break glass. They rather try to get through a lock or get in easily. So, I put the deadbolt lock on. I'm going to show you how I switched that up and change that. I'm going to do some cleaning on that towel and vacuuming out that mess in that bathroom. Just a couple little tasks. So, kitchen, I want to do some things in the kitchen. I want to get some spider webs out that other room because I didn't get in that room and I'm going to get in the bathroom and I'm going to change a lot. So that's what's in this episode. I hope you guys are liking this renovation, getting it done, tack tackling daily tasks. These are things I need to do just to prepare, prep because the um, guys won't come back till Monday. So I'm going to be getting videos done, different things done throughout the days and these are going to more than likely... I think I'm going to go with Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I don't have to do them every day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll have these videos loaded for you guys. And just show you different things that I'm doing in here. And you will see my meal that I made on last night. So last night was the first night I cooked here. It won't be last night for you guys, but it'll be last night for me. Um, so I'll show you what I cooked and how the meal came out and all that great stuff. But your girl is about to eat this because I need a boost of energy and I did a review on these, these donuts. These are not sponsored. I just like them and they taste really good. You wouldn't know that they were coffee <laughs> if you didn't read the package. They just taste like a really moist, tasty donut. So I'm going to eat that and then we're going to get into this video. So check out the video on those donuts if you are a coffee drinker and I hope you enjoyed the video. So let's get going. Just going to add a little bit of how I've been cooking in here. I got my onion over here cooking. I put some avocado butter in this skillet. Because I want to put some onions in there. I was going to do peppers, but I, don't, I ain't in the mood to be cutting up the peppers. So I just cut my onions up in thin slithers. Putting them in here. I rinsed my, um, my steak off. I put some rosemary, thyme, poultry seasoning, garlic. I'm putting garlic in now. Bouillon, black pepper, and onion powder. And I'm getting ready to put those in there with the onions. I'm not trying to do nothing fancy, but I don't know, I've just been craving steak. It seems like since I started eating it again, I've been wanting it all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna take this and just kind of mix this up in here. Let me cut my other light on. This is how I was cooking inside the uh, hotel as well. Kind of seem like it's leaning a little bit. Let me get to be kind of straight. Like that. Cut it down low. Put some more onions in there. Looks like this ain't even a quarter of the onion. Put that in there. I'm just going to stick my hands in here. I didn't want to. Got to wash them. Back and sticky steaks in there. I'm gonna put the rice on the side over there. So these are nicely seasoned. I didn't really let them marinate, um, but they'll be fine. They'll still be flavorful. I think I should have put a little bit more bouillon in here. So. That's it. This is just a quick. Quick, I'm going to put in for y'all to see how I cook in here in my cast iron skillet and my little hot plate like that. I put some water and some butter in there so I can do that for the yellow rice and I'll be right back. I got this on and I just rinsed off the seasonings from the steak, putting that in there. Probably going to need some more water. But we're going to throw some butter because it says two tablespoons. I put two tablespoons of butter in there. And then it says the rice. So I'm just basically following the instructions. I'm going to need some more water because it's three-fourths cup. Mixed tablespoon. Uh, two tablespoons of 
that. So I'm gonna use this little plastic fork just to mix it. Gotta find my metal spoon. I got this on like a three. So I'm gonna blend this well. I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. Let me cut that up. Let me get a little bit more water. I'm gonna be right back. Put this on a little trash. Be right back. Let me get some more water. Okay, got my fork. <laughs> so I cut this up to a four. That's the one thing. And I do the onions with it so I can get that real good onion flavor in it. And then I have my, um, I'm gonna move that plastic so we too close. So the seasoning's on here is kind of lumping up. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm gonna flip these over like that. Let these cook slow. And I'll show you what my end result looks like after I'm done. Guys, I started eating. I was so hungry. So this is the aftermath of me cooking. And I actually scorched it because I had turned the knob the wrong way. But so this is it. I got hot sauce on it and I'm about to grub. So enjoy the video. So they both have been cleaned and re-seasoned and ready for my next meal. I cleaned them out old school with the hot water and scrubbed them and poured it in here. So about to pour that down the um, toilet. Get rid of my plate. So that's it. All right, y'all. Oh, you trying to get it to turn that way? Let me see how they turn it this way. Okay, I see. So basically what he's saying is we got to get a longer pipe, but it's, it's now currently right behind where it needs to be, which is where the stove will be right here. So this, get that valve. The valve needs to be up above the floor. So in case something happened, you need to turn your gas off. You need to be able to pull the stove out and access that to cut the gas to the stove that's coming out. So we're going to do a longer pipe because that one is too short to bring that valve up out the floor and then the, the whip a gas line whip you said is going to be attached to that to connect to the stove i'm going to show you all in this clip how um he went and got the extension pipe and angled it so it'll be directly stove. so you want your gas line to be directly behind the stove so he's getting ready to put that in right now and put the valve on and i'll show you that and then i'll get on to the rest of my task whip go on top of that piece that you're about to put in. Oh, five, because we already have them. Oh. So there are whips with shutoff valves, and since I already have a shutoff valve, we will get a whip without a shutoff valve. That tape is for the sealing of, what is it? So, gas any gas or anything that's the same as plumber's tape but this is for gas line right meaning like tape, same, difference. same difference so it allows nothing to come out like to seep out or leak and he's making sure it's extra tight because this is the gas line 
Now, like I said, this is the line, like if you felt like you smell gas in your house and it's coming from the stove or something, you will pull your stove out and you will twist this um, knob, that yellow knob to turn it off. It should tell you which way to turn it for on and which way to turn it for off. Anytime that, that valve is straight up and down in line with the pipe, mm -hmm. it's on. It's on, okay. Anytime you put it down, it's off. Turn it up. Yeah, anytime it's vertical with the pipe. Perpendicular. Mm -hmm. yeah, parallel parallel, to, the pipe parallel is on. to the pipe is on. Perpendicular yeah. is off, okay. So guys, here we have a problem and this is not, it's not, the lock is not coming out. It's not locking at all. So, and it's kind of loose. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take um, this lock off and see what the heck is going on with the inside of this lock. So this is a task that needs to be done because I can't keep putting just the chain lock because it's a chain lock on it. You can see right there and that's how I've been keeping it closed, which is not safe. Um, so. Let me get this lock off and see what's going on. You got to make sure everything is lining up or it won't lock. Like, I think whoever put this on didn't know what they were doing. Like, this has to line up with those two screws. This piece has to line up inside. Put that, like, right there. I don't know if I should do it this way. You want to get these two pieces lined up um, as easy as you can so those screws can come through. So... We want this to be up so I got to get these in here but get this in here as well so let me turn that just a little bit and let's see I think I got it lined up and we are going to see. It's kind of feels crooked. Okay, maybe not. Hold on, let's see. I think we might be in there. Seems like it's tightening. See, this is not, that part is not in. I can tell that part. No, it is. I don't know why this is not. I'm going to probably have to go get one of the ones from over there because there's something wrong inside this lock. Something wrong. Oh, this is it. And I was looking at this. It's broke off. So it's not reaching far enough in here to make this move. This was broke off and it was sitting right here. So I'm going to go outside and get one of those other locks that I have and try that. This is crazy. I'll be back, y'all. Garage we go. I think I had an extra one in here I could use. And put, yeah, we can use this one. I'll use this one. Yep, I'll use this extra one here. Alright y'all, let's go see if this works. Okay, so we're back and we're going to leave that in and hopefully, these are usually universal, this will work and we don't have to ch change it. Sometimes you got to do stuff yourself ladies, okay? I need my protection. As a single woman, I need my protection. Alright, so let's try this again and see if this one works. So this is how long it should be. This is how short 
that where is that other one it fell but it was so short it broke off so yeah that wasn't definitely wasn't working so we're gonna stick that in here like so we're gonna stick i know y'all probably can't see oh but y'all see the fact that i did get this in okay we want this to go right in there i think we might be in there like swimwear we just need for these to line up yep line up come on come on come on come on come on It is on, it is on. Now you can see it come in and out. And it's on on that side. All right, y'all. It is on, it's on. Thank God, now you can see it come in and out. And let's see if it will lock. Oh no, it's too low. Uh, let's see something. Okay, I had to loosen it because this is not going in. So I'm gonna switch these around just for security for right now. Hopefully it works where I can put this down here and it'll go through because it looks like it's made for a deadbolt. If you look at the door, it looks like it's made for a deadbolt down there. So let's switch it around and see what happens. drill was dying I had to change to another drill okay so what i'm gonna have to do is take this off i'm gonna put it back where it was guys this is uh stuff that you need to land on so this is for my security so i'm gonna take this off put this lock back deadbolt lock back up top take that back off and put everything back the way it was and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get me a drill bit and i'm gonna go in right here and i'm gonna drill a hole lower and then bring this plate down. That's gonna be the easiest thing to rectify this. So let's put the lock back on <laughs> and then go from there.
All right, they are both back on. And so what I'm gonna do is find my drill bit so I can bear a hole in that. And then that way this can lock because I need this to lock. So let's get First to off, I have to take this off. I don't have my paddle bits, but I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out and make it work. Okay, so this comes off. I need the hole to be down further. So what I'm gonna do is put something wet on this um, dead bolt and then I unlock it so I can see where the water hits, so I can know where I need to put it at. So I'm gonna add. I was throwing this away anyway. I'm gonna put some mustard right here. Hopefully that it'll be enough all around it like that. And then I'm going to unlock it, I mean lock it, and unlock it so it can hit that wall and then show me where I need to make my hole. So let's see. Probably shouldn't be that far off. Okay, good. So basically, some of it will go into the hole already and just the bottom, so I don't need to do too much. Let's see. Let me get the drill in. Okay, so I close the door and it does go in. So what I need to do is just take this and put this lower just enough for it to go inside this to give me more security or else it'll be hitting the frame. Y'all just pinched the mess out of my hand. Oh my gosh, I just pinched the mess out of my hand. So I'm gonna put the screw in here and we're going to put the screw here. And this is where we're going to put it in order to lock the door. I hope this is in the right spot. Oh. I hope this is in the right spot. Let's see, let's see. All right, so. Bam! I did that. I did that. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to tackle in this bathroom. I want to get all this crap out my tub, pull this little cover up. This is actually the bathroom, so that's why those are here. And um, just, I'll get it after I put this on a tripod. Just tackle all this, get this up, and then we'll go to the next thing, all right? And I had to put this in here because there's no light in here, so let's get this done.
Okay, so that was irritating my soul. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to try to tackle getting the big stuff off of these tiles. I know it's going to be an issue, but before I do that, I want to take and shake that off so I can put that back in the tub so it can catch anything that falls in the tub. So let's get in it. All right, so my goal is to get the big splotches that I see, like those off of the wall and then up there, it's a lot more. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and then work my way up with getting all the, it's only like one, a couple down here. It's not many down here, they get bad, as you can see at the top because that's when I was starting to get a little tired. So let's get this off.
So I'm gonna get close to show y'all how much it is right around in this area by the, um, I can put this, I had to take my shoe off. Hold on. Put this in the tub. Oh Lord, hold on y'all. Hold on one second. Okay guys, so uh, I had to stop with the, um, the bathroom and it was something that I figured there's no need for me to do all the scraping and cleaning as of yet because of the simple fact now I did clean and get all this down here when it's time to grow um, I'm gonna have to wipe it down and all that so I ain't trying to do devil duty I'm trying to focus on something <laughs> that really needs to be done um, we are in the future for you guys um, we're in the future on this clip here because it's several days after that um, so right now I have some things here that I'm gonna vlog for another vlog that's in the future which is like probably number 10 or something like that so I stepped away from that and the reason for that is because like I said I didn't want to do double duty but I wanted to put things in here and share with you guys what I'm doing my tasks and the stuff that I can get done in between time um, between the contractors and all that other stuff so if you're enjoying these vlogs make sure you join the family by hitting that subscribe button hit the notification bell after you subscribe because that's how you join the family is by subscribing and when you hit the notification bell it will notify you anytime i load a video i'm going to be doing lives monday wednesday friday i'm still up in the air on how i want to do the vlogs i think i want to do one long vlog once a week because it's less on me because i got so much going on and preparing for my daughter to get here so yeah i think one vlog is where we're going to kind of be at at this point mind you i'm already on like 13 14 but it's a lot of footage it's a lot of stuff i'm trying to get together so i want you guys to work with me but because you're seeing this in current time today is the day that you're seeing this video and that was some time ago um what you just witnessed i am going to be going live today um at six so this will be a reminder for that about six anywhere between 5 30 and six o'clock i'm gonna be going live no later than about 6 15 today i'm gonna be going live so stay tuned for that and prepare yourself for that um so yeah that's what it is and if you are definitely enjoying these make sure you thumbs up if you're not enjoying them thumbs up down i want to know what you feel about the vlogs in totality regardless you know i'm not everybody's not gonna like everything but just let me know either way up or down so also um if you are new i am a mom starting over from a long marriage um single mom now and i basically purchased this home and i'm converting it to purchase this house and i'm converting it and modernizing it to be my home for me and my daughter or daughters it depends um you know because i do have more than one daughter but you know sometimes you know they have to come or they need to come stay with mama you never know but so for right now it's me and the youngest and the two oldest ones are grown so that's where we are at this point and they're doing their thing and living their lives and so it's me and the little one so with that being said i am um just sharing that journey with you so if this is something you like make sure that you tell people about it share the channel and help me to get this channel to grow because even after that the things that I share on a daily basis to help you save your coins save your money I have over a thousand videos that you can binge watch because I share so much in so many so many so many areas from frugal shopping to cooking to hacks around the house that can save you money so you can do things yourself and learn how to do stuff so you can save your coin that's why it's how to how to's diys and save a dime on this channel all right i will see you guys later gator that is another downside to upgrade on how to diy and save a dime and that's all